look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody. There he is. Uh-oh. Wally, he's bleeding. What, what day is he on with this Ebola? 20, is it 20 days? I don't know, but he's on a critical list. Yeah, yeah. well, he's right over my shoulder. And so. he is bleeding from the eyes. Uh, the ears and everything. Crazy. Yeah. And, uh, All right. Reg, camera one. Oh, camera three. <laughs> Why am I screwed up today? I don't know a one and a three. Why won't Obama ban air travel from countries where Ebola is out of control? Good question, huh, Wally? Well, I, I, we're already being called a racist nation if we're banning people from Africa. Yeah, but that's... And, and that's uh, sad. That's sad because thanks, France Reg. is doing it, England's doing it, other countries are doing it right now. They don't want people coming in from these countries. But four years ago, according to Michael Savage, Obama eliminates CDC's rights to block travelers with infections and, and diseases. Uh, four years ago, in the middle of the night, Obama did a, an, an executive order on yeah. this. And uh, Michael Savage was blaming the ACLU. So I don't know what, you know, yeah. whatever they had to do with it, but he was. And uh, so four years ago, and you guys can look that up too. But, but why, would you, why would you eliminate the CDC's rights to block travelers from coming here if they're infected with these yeah. diseases? What would be the motive, Wally? Well, Ben Affleck is in a controversy now because he's saying that if you want to keep these people in their own country... What's he, a senator? No, he's a big mouth. That's what he is. Is he a congressman? And what happened? And what happens is he's saying people are racist if they don't allow these people to come into this country. But but who is he? Why is he speaking out like that? I he's guess he's an activist. You know, activist. I never he's heard. Supposed of him. to be a political. Oh yeah, he's been involved in far left wing uh, organizations. Well, what does he do? Is he a doctor? Oh, he's a movie actor. Oh, you mean Hollywood trying to show that they're highly intelligent, well, right? Yeah, yeah. The Satanism. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Satanists out there trying to trying to yeah. corrupt the minds of the world. They they uh, okay. Now that But when they sense. run out of excuses or reasons to justify what they're saying, they bring up something nasty like that. Something sure. negative about the people. You know what? Why don't we watch this uh, second video, which is uh, uh, Thomas Frieden, okay. the uh, director of the CDC or the head of, yeah. head of the CDC. But my thing is, this guy is going to eat. He, this guy may regret his words when it's not a big deal. They, they got they full control of this. And, and I don't know if Reggie could turn the sound up in here. But I can't hear it at all. Uh, well, now, now that you just told the whole world that you can't hear, did you hear that, Wally? Or do you want me to turn it up? Turn it up. Turn it up. Reg, did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. See? <laughs> I know. And you know what? Before we even run that, we got a mystery here. What's up with this? We, we don't know yet. I found this in storage. I didn't put that on. I thought you did. Someone else did. Put it on the seat. So are we going down the tube or what? I, it looks like, from what it looks like, my best guess, it almost looks like maybe America, if we don't change, we're going down the toilet. I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. But we'll, we'll have to investigate this after. Reg... Can we run that uh, last this short? Be another minutes, one of these uh, stooges that they put up there. Blah 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 blah. Well, he'll be regretting his words six months from now, three months from now, a month from now, yeah. a year from now. You know? Yeah, we're gonna learn by mistakes. That's the only way we're gonna learn. And and you can't have a perfect situation. There's gonna be mistakes made, and, and we gotta overcome that. But, you know... Well, he says he's going to stop it in its tracks. Yeah, well... Why, why is it Van Jones? Who is Van Jones? Van Jones 
is a man who was uh, put in as an environmental protection person for uh, President Obama. He was one of their czars. Now, Van Jones got kicked out of that job because they found out that he was a known communist, a proud communist. Now, he's now working for MSNBC. This is Van Jones, a communist. And he says what they have to do, the Democrats have to do, is use this Ebola disease as a political issue against the Republicans. Now, this is what we're fighting against, using Ebola disease as a political issue. This is what this guy wants to do. And he's still working well with President Obama. And now he's on MSNBC. I don't know how often. I don't watch MSNBC. But one of the problems we have with a lot of our immigrants, or illegal immigrants, or immigrants, and the people in Africa, sad to say, they don't have the basic hygiene that they need. They don't understand. And they lack the, uh, the medication they need to do away with these diseases they keep bringing in or having. And we got to help them there that way. We have to have deep people teaching them how to wash, clean, everything else. That's going to kill Ob uh, Obama. Um, gee. Ebola. That's what's going to kill it. Knowledge of hygiene. That's going to help. And they got to stop touching people with the body fluids and all that stuff. That'll help slow this down. <clears throat> and like we said before, this happened 40 years ago, 50 years ago. We had outbreaks. But right now, like I said earlier, there was over 3,400 people killed from this disease. So and, and something's got to be done about it. And I don't like the idea of our troops going to Africa like that, because you could, you could get all these people infected, and I, I'm afraid of that. I'm, I'm afraid for that. We don't need that. Kill them, kill them by Ebola and by a bullet are just as bad. You're going to die. Do you want to take another call, Wally? Yeah, I think we should. Do you think this is uh, President Ebola? Maybe. I, I mean, uh, Maybe it's the World Health Organization calling. All right, let's see here. Hello, caller. You on the air? That's a toilet flush. That's a toilet flush. That was a toilet flush. Look what they did to the... Was that a toilet flush, Reg? I believe so. We got some great viewers, I'll tell you. Should we flush the toilet? Flush the toilet. So who put, who put the toilet seat on the wheel is what I want to know. Well, when I came in the room, it was here. And who flushed the toilet on us? That's what I want to know. Yes. Phone line one. Here we go again. If it's another... <laughs> no grunting, please, people. If you're on the toilet, please. Do your business, then wash your hands, then call. Hello, caller, you're on the air? Hello, caller? I guess he doesn't have anything to say. I don't know. The, the, is that good or bad? Yeah. Reg, camera one. Look at that. So what they're saying by day what? Day 20-something, uh, you stop bleeding and you, well, you've seen this? You've seen pictures of people with the, the blood coming no, out? No, I've read it. Oh, I've you've read, read it. it. I, I haven't heard I haven't seen it. So that's what... Uh, I don't think they'll show pictures of him being like that. I mean, that's insane. You know, Zoros, he, he's, he's a world traveler, wealthy, he's a philanthropist, Zoros. President Obama says he doesn't want to scare the country, but he says we have nothing to worry about. Thanks, Reg. But then you turn around, one of his cohorts, Van Jones, wants to use it as a political issue against Republicans. Now, what is it? Time out. Reg, if this is the uh, disgruntled toilet flusher, uh, don't patch him through, please. Thank you. We we've uh, we we got their message loud and clear. If they if they can do their business off the toilet, that's different. We want to hear from them. If not, we don't want to hear no more toilets flushing. Thank you. So, 
Well, give it a shot. Let's see what it ah, is. It didn't say phone. Oh, phone line two. Here we go. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hello, caller. You're on the... Oh, jeez. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Can you hear me? Yes. I said the guy behind you there always cuts himself shaving. How come? That's story. Yeah, because he hung out with you at the duck pond for many years, and now look what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, Wally. How you doing? Okay, Tony. How you doing? Oh, there goes your clock. Well, That's all right. Leave the clock. Did you blow it down? Le leave the clock, Wally. Then he, just voodooed, he just voodooed you because we talked about him. See that? Yeah, well, this is this is all we got. This. What do you got in the toilet bowl today? Is that Obama's head in there? I can't see. Can you see that picture? What do you see? Oh, Obama. Say hi. That's where he should be in the toilet. Well, no, our country's going down the toilet if this continues. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Tony, I, I, I store this wheel over where, kind of near, like, where you live. You wouldn't have happened to have been the one that put this toilet seat on this wheel, were you? No, no. Because I, I stored this for three months while we were doing Wheel of Freedom. And, no, uh, I don't think so, no. And, and it wasn't you that just were flushing the toilet, right? No, it wasn't me, no. Okay, all right. Well, then I got, I'm, I'm suspicious. I may have to call the FBI on this one. Oh, my God. Hey, all right, Tony. All right. Thanks for checking in. See you later, Tom. Okay. Have a good night. All right, you too. Yep. So it wasn't Tony. we got to find out who put the, I, whoever's flushing the toilet, Wally. That's it, who did it. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, it, I store the wheel at a, at a place in, uh, nearby. So I, I don't take that everywhere. I have the other wheels with me, but I had to pick this one up and had a seat mounted to it already. I'm so. just thinking if, 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 if a, a piece of poop could flush the toilet. It, it, maybe, yeah. maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see next week, see what, mm. see what, see what turns out of this uh, toilet. Maybe... Uh, Maybe uh, we can start a weekly show, Who's in the Hopper Today? Don't say weekly, because this guy might be calling in there every week and flushing the toilet. <laughs> 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 well, we'll get his thumbs for a number and just tell who, him don't take the call. Who's in the Hopper this week is what we can play that. Who's mm. in the Hopper? So, so here we are. Yeah, we're going to get a picture. Ta of that. Talking yeah. about, let's go uh, Reg Camera 3. Are we worrying about the wrong virus, the enterovirus, D68? There have been 538 cases of this uh, D68 enterovirus, five deaths, and 10 cases of paralysis. Hold on, Reg. Keep it right on there. And, uh, and then this is what is real important. The connection to polio, and right now I think in uh, Pakistan, uh, uh, polio is having a huge outbreak. And uh, so I think this is something for people with children. You really want to pay attention to this stuff because our, our, our country uh, eradicated that completely. And if this is now coming in with these illegal aliens, which it probably did, yeah. and it's crazy. Thanks, Reg. Well, a lot of things are coming back in this country, like measles. Yeah. Well, you know? and I remember my, my, my daughters, when they went to college, if they didn't get the measles shot, they couldn't go to college. Look at phone line one. It's, was it full moon on the way riding in tonight? I saw a huge moon out there, a huge moon, like just this massive moon. Was it? Is it full moon? Because it's know. feeling it. It's feeling it. We got toilets flushing. We got everything going on here. All right, we got three minutes. Reg, camera three. I don't know if the viewers can see this, but these are, these are some tips about uh, with, with viruses. Use a paper towel to open bathroom doors and turn on uh, taps. You know that, Wally, right? Hand sanitizer. Using it, use it during the height of flu season. 
Or if you have to touch things that everyone else has been touching, like the handle of a shopping cart, doorknobs, light switches, use antibacterial wipes or at least baby wipes to wash your hands when you're, when you're out. Avoid touching your face as welcomes germs that are on your hands into your body, like your eyes, nose, and ears. Obviously, during the uh, height of the flu season, consider taking a quick shower, changing clothes when you return home. I actually do that, Wally, if I felt people were coughing on me and stuff. Uh, at least make sure the kids change clothes and thoroughly wash their hands when they return home from school. Uh, uh, wash your hands after using the bathroom or before preparing or eating food. Hello. That's hopefully everyone's been doing that. Stay, at, stay home as much as possible other than work, school, and whatever. This is if, if this stuff starts spreading a lot, obviously. Mm -hmm. Avoid eating at restaurants. You don't know the health or hygiene habits of the kitchen staff. Boy, that almost goes uh, for everyone yep. all, all the time. Yep. He, even Lee Elsie, he, he's, he, he makes it clear. I mean, he, he won't eat at restaurants because of that. Uh, drink lots of water. Keep your system hydrated and efficient. Take a high-quality organic multivitamin. Uh, take uh, 3,000, uh, what is it, independent uh, something units, vitamin D. What about shave, shaking hands? It, it, it avoid shaking hands, Wally. Get to seven to nine hours of sleep per day. Thanks, the, Reg. Yeah, we ain't church, we shake hands uh, every uh, Sunday. Yeah, Wally. I, I'm not going to fist pump Mandel. Yeah. Because he, he, he can take that fist pump and shove it where the sun don't yeah. shine. So I'm not into the fist well, pump. Well, I know last year in the, in the winter during the flu season, they told him, don't don't shake hands with anybody. Just bump it, you know? Yeah. Well, it, it, it's a lot of it's common sense. I mean, Washing your hands. a lot of people do that now anyways. Yeah. They know better. Hey, we're fading out, guys. Great oh, show tonight for the... Uh, opening show of Wake Up America. Next week we'll be back and we're going to try to do a little research on the Connecticut Constitution. That caller, we got to get his first name. Anyways, great guy, great caller. Thanks everyone for watching. God bless America. America. God bless all our viewers. And Wally? God bless America. Wally! What? Wally, hurry up! I don't know what you want to say. Wake Up America! Oh my God, Wally. I don't know. Wake up!